I love being on a campus that has kids that are in pre-kindergarten all the way up until 12th grade. I love that. And I think the kids do too. I like being out in the front of the school in the morning and welcoming children and saying good morning and having them say good morning back to me. It's exciting seeing kids from so many different parts of the world becoming friends with one another. It's sort of like a magic United Nations. And having been here for more than 35 years, there is just such a harmony. And there's a cohesiveness here that, that is formed instantly. In this school, if you're new, two days later, you're no longer new. And there's a place for everybody. And one in which you can spread your wings. Try the white first, mm -hmm. but your line is beautiful. Thank you. I have been related to the school practically my whole life. They've taught me to think, to love knowledge, and also the, the challenge and the fun of using your minds for a purpose. We're both an AP and an IB high school, and we offered high school diploma. We say when we interview families and children that they're choosing a style of education, an American style of learning. It's not just the academics, but it's sports and the arts and music and drama and all of that in one school. The whole child is educated. I had a student who actually about five years ago won the Pulitzer Prize for music criticism. I try not to let it go to my head. This year I have uh, oboe, I have an alto saxophone, a tenor saxophone, a French horn, a trombone, then I have three electric guitars, uh, four keyboard players, an electric bass, and a drummer. I've arranged the opening toccata of Monteverde's Orfeo, the opera, but then we're doing some rhythm and blues songs, an old 60s rock song called The Letter. Uh, one, a two. One, two, We've been talking about um, how our world began, and today they're going to be looking at real fossils. These are really ancient. What you're going to do is you're going to keep everything the same. Now you're going to add water, the same amount to both the progression and how it's inevitable. These are themes that resonate throughout almost all nationalities. When we study something like the Great Gatsby, there's always been people that confront where they come from and if they're going to be the boat that's beaten back on the shore, as Fitzgerald says at the end. In a school like this, you really see an education that opens up more possibilities. I teach theory of knowledge, TOK, we, we call it, to help them acquire new knowledge with a critical Dynamite. eye. I think people in the world want to help other people. They don't want to... Tomorrow, there is a debate. Um, I have an opposite opinion. I think that it is ethically... One of the things that's very prevalent is the respect that the faculty has for students and vice versa. Thank you. Okay. So now you just have to start working on the hands mm -hmm. and, and, the uh, and the background. Once we get to gibberish scenes... Teachers are happy spot. and I think passionate about what they do and I take that very seriously in the recruiting process, I do think very carefully about the faculty and how they will interact and what they can bring to a faculty, because it's the teachers that make the school. And what do they do with communication compared to ancient Rome and AD 150? They made it faster, quicker. Well, I guess the thing that I didn't expect was the huge change in my girls. Emma, who's a junior now, is finding that while she's not that good at science, she really likes art. The encouragement they get, come and try it. That you can do well, and that you can do the best that you can do. It's inspiration, and it only happens when they're challenged. And if you can get them to that point, and they, they trust you, and they trust each other, that is something that is just beautiful to see. They have to stick together, because like, they can't make it by themselves, and they need each other. Good, very good. Okay. The first time I came here, I stepped onto the campus and had a feeling. One feels at home. 
And as a result, a place like this school becomes a center not only for the children, but for their parents as well. It's a very open place. There's always this attitude, it can be done, we do it together, we support each other. These kids go on to do great things. And many of them lived all over the world. They speak multiple languages. They understand different cultures. This is what schools like this can do for the world, to show that it's very right to work together, to have common goals. A school like this, if we work hard enough, this is what the world is going to look like we can make a big difference in children's lives. It gives me goosebumps, it really does. Children are respected and cherished here, really. And learning never stops. And that's what it's all about. <laughs>